Hello, welcome to part 3 of 100 orthopedic MCQs. Now let's move to question number 41. Sprain is Option A. Ligament tear Option B. Any painful vanging or twisting or pulling movement of the joint Option C. Associate with articular cartilage damage Option D. Compression of the articular surface And the answer is Option B. Any painful vanging movement of the joint Now let's move to Question number 42. A positive anterior dryas test is diagnostic of Option A, ACL, Option B, MCL, Option Z, LCL, Option D, PCL. And the answer is Option A, ACL. Now let's move to question number 43. In combined median and adenal nerve injury, Option A, the thumb is in the palm. Option B, the thumb is flexed. Option C, there is glowing of the thumb. Option D, the thumb lies at the side of the hand. And the answer is Option D, the thumb lies at the side of the hand. Now let's move to question number 44. The most common finger affected by the trigger finger is Option E, little finger. Option B, ring finger. Option C, middle finger. Option D, thumb. And the answer is Option D, thumb. Now let's move to question number 45. The post-operative care of the total hip arthroplasty. The length of the inpatient stay reduced to 14 to 16 days in most hospitals. Option B, full weight bearing without support will take about 6 to 8 weeks at the patient's own pace. Option Z, car driving allowed 14 days. Option D, patient will have negotiated stays independently 2 months. And the answer is... Option B, full weight bearing with third support will usually take 6 to 8 weeks at the patient's own pace. Now let's move to question number 46. The most unstable of the carpal bone is Option D, PC4, Option B, lunate, Option C, hamitate, Option D, scaphoid. And the answer is Option D, scaphoid. Now let's move to question number 47. What is the most common mode of failure of lateral ulnar collateral ligament associated with the elbow dislocation? Option A. Ligament avulsion of the humeral origin. Option B. Ligament avulsion of the ulnar insertion. Option C. Bony avulsion of the humeral origin. Option D. Bony avulsion of the ulnar insertion. And the answer is Option A. Ligament avulsion of the humeral origin. Now let's move to question number 48. The cardinal feature of the rheumatoid hand is Option A. A reciprocal alna deviation of the fingers Option B. Combination of instability and erosive tendonovitis eventually leads to the tendon rupture Option C. The erosion of the distal radio ulnar joint Option D. The erosion of the radiocarpal joint and intercarpal joints And the answer is Option A, a reciprocal ulnar deviation of the fingers. Now let's move to question number 49. The X-ray changes in rheumatoid arthritis is Option A, periarticular osteoporosis. Option B, diminution of the joint space. Option C, soft tissue swelling. Option D, bony erosion. And the answer is Option C, soft tissue swelling. Now let's move to question number 50. The distal radial epiphysis appears at the age of Option A, first year, Option B, second year, Option C, fourth year, Option D, sixth year. And answer is Option B, second year. Now let's move to question number 51. With the wrist flex, the thumb folds normally in Option A, flexion, Option B, supination, Option C, pronation, Option D, extension. And answer is Option D. Extension Now let's move to question number 52. Intrinsic muscle of hand. Option A. Extended of the MCP and flex IP joints. Option B. Extended of the MCP and extended IP joint. Option C. Flexed of the MCP and extensor IP joint. Option D. Flexed of the MCP and flexed IP joint. And the answer is Option C. Flexed of the MCP and extended IP joint. Now let's move to question number 53. Osteoarthritis in hand affect mostly the Option D. Proximal interferential joint Option D. Distal interferential joint Option C. Metacarpopharyngeal joint Option C. Carpometacarpal joints And the answer is 
option B distal interphalangeal joints. Now let's move to question number 54. Pain on the lateral rotation of the tibia on the femur indicate damage to which of the following stretchers? Option A anterior cruciate ligament, option B posterior cruciate ligament, option C lateral meniscus, option D manual meniscus and the answer is Option C, lateral meniscus. Now let's move to question number 55. In structural scoliosis, option A, a right thoracic curvature are the commonest. Option B, left thoracic curvature is the commonest. Option C, right lumbar curvature is the commonest. Option D, left lumbar curvature is the commonest. And the answer is Option A, right thoracic curvature is the commonest. Now let's move to question number 56. The disc base collapse in typical option A traumatic compression, option B infection, option C multiple myeloma, option D metastatic disease. And the answer is option B infection. Now let's move to question number 57. Root canal stenosis results from option A degenerative changes of the disc, option B osteoarthritis of the face and joint. Option C, a newborn formation may narrow the lateral recess of the spinal canal and the intervertebral foramen. Option D, bulging of the disc annulus fibrosis. And the answer is Option C, newborn formation may narrow the lateral recess of the spinal canal and the intervertebral foramen. Now let's move to question number 58. Acute disc prolapse. Option A is uncommon in young adults. Option B is rare in voltage. Option C present at sciatica only. Question D may cause muscle weakness and wasting. And the answer is Question D may cause muscle weakness and wasting. Now let's move to question number 59. The characteristic feature of the segmental instability of the lumbar spine is Option A intervertebral distension. Option B mainly flattened the disc base. Option C, margin of stereophyte. Option D, appearance of the traction spur. And the answer is Option D, the appearance of the traction spur. Now let's move to question number 60. The changes of the osteoarthritis of the hip are most marked. Option A, in margin of the articular surface. Option B, the top of the joint. Option C, in the inferior medial aspect of the joint. Option D, in the medial aspect of the joint. And the answer is Option B, the top of the joint. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts or clarification, please comment below. See you in the next session. That's part 4. Thank you. Bye-bye.